Hello there and welcome to Normal Guy Games. So this time I actually have yet another Warhammer Underworlds Warband. This is Hexbane's Hunters. And I've decided to paint these guys in sort of a slap chop style. So let's get right into it and see how it looks. So here we go. I have, as I said before, decided to go with a slap chop contrast style for these particular models. And uh, with Hexbane and his uh, merry crew of miscreants, um, I, I kind of want a darker palette for most of their stuff. Now for here, this is Black Legion contrast paint. And that's only going for just this guy's boots, okay? So it's just the boots and just the bottom part there because he's wearing those uh, this leather, I don't know what they are, boot protectors or whatever the heck they are. Anyway, uh, moving on, we uh, once again go with, uh, this time is Gargax Sewer. Um, I'm actually finding that I like the way Gargax Sewer looks for leather as opposed to say snake bite leather or anything else i really like the um the tone of it the color of it the the brown of it 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 turns out really nice in the end now if you're batching as you can see here this is me just kind of painting up one of the uh one of the dogs with the same the, now this is black templar um there is there is kind of a difference between the two but um i was using black templar on a couple of places so i decided to go up go ahead and paint up one of the dogs as well and who doesn't like a uh a good boy or a good girl so <laughs> anyway um the dogs are fairly easy. You just kind of slap a color on them, and uh, you can do go back and do some highlighting or whatnot. And it honestly, just the one color usually is the uh, the primary. Um, now for his pants, I went with this is uh, Space Wolves Gray, and for me, this gives kind of a worn denim look, and that's sort of what I was looking for in this particular. Um, in in a lot of my my models if i want something that's not going to draw attention that's what i'll usually do is kind of for, to like the pants or whatnot i'll do like space wolves gray to make a light denim now here for a shirt um, i chose creed camo which is yet another contrast paint and you can choose just about any color you can actually mix it up quite a bit and that's what I've been doing here is I instead of going with a unified sort of color for all of their shirts all of their pants I actually did each individual with its own color scheme but I tried to keep them all kind of dark and saturated as well so um, this is Wildwood for the haft of the weapon and it's fairly um it's a fairly dark brown it does turn out fairly well and it can be okay for leather but i don't i don't quite prefer it now as i move on and you can see that i've left some uh some dark in the recesses there um uh, just a little bit i actually went really high on the highlights for these guys and honestly i'm I kind of, in the end, I sort of wish I had left a little more shadows in there. But like I said, I, for some reason, I just decided to go a little bit higher. Now, I am, once again, uh, this is going to be uh, Wildwood. I'm using Wildwood for all of the all of the leather pieces here. For his, uh, his bandolier, for belt pouches, uh, for any kind of leather accoutrements, straps, or whatnot. Uh, once again that's what I'm doing and it as you saw there I unfortunately messed up and put some of the brown on his pants and if you catch it quick enough with some water you can actually just erase that mistake without a problem now I'm doing all of the um, the little pieces for the uh, the leather holsters and whatnot for the weapons as well now for his face I did go with us just a straight-up gullum and flesh and this is kind of my go-to if I want to contrast um, Caucasian skin. Now this is one of the few paints that I use that is not contrast. This is actually Reaper's Heartwood Brown. And it's kind of a light 
sort of a yellowish brown color more yellow than brown and for obvious reasons since it's named heartwood um, it uh, it looks like the inside of a tree so that kind of is if I want to have sort of a, a light uh, but still warm brown I will use this color as opposed to any other and it does usually turn out pretty well this is the same color that I use to um, to paint up my uh, to dry brush my bases for my swamp bases for my storm cast uh, now this is just plain old lead belcher and I'm using that because it's sort of a darker metal and that's what I want is a, in this particular instance is a darker kind of a, a more um, a, a more saturated metal instead of going with for instance like a, a shinier a chrome version like the Vallejo metal color or whatnot I went with this color for all of his armor and I apologize for going out of the screen there um, for all of his armor for his axe for his knee pads anything that was metal got this color um, including his bracers as well so for all of that metal uh, simple enough lead belcher and that'll do it now the um, the cool thing about this lead belcher is I actually sort of diluted it just a little bit and with that light white color it actually will sort of pull away a little bit and it can actually leave some really weird like after effects that I, I enjoy on here now all the stone tiles that are under his feet I went with just a simple wolf gray and that is Reaper um, I was going to try Basilicanum Gray, but I felt like Basilicanum Gray was a lot darker than what I wanted. Um, for the gravel and the ground color, I went with uh, Rattling Grime, and I went with Plague Bearer Flesh for the little pools. Now this is Agrax Earthshade, good old Agrax. I'm using that on everything because I want everything here to look very dark and brown and dirty and dingy because these guys are obviously hunting in well these are, this is a neither maze uh, warband so these guys would be hunting in the neither maze and therefore they're probably gonna get dirty I mean you know it's a dirty job now make sure you don't let this wash pool anywhere uh, just use your brush and kind of redirect it make sure you take any any um, any big like pools of the of the uh, of the wash and, and just put it somewhere else on the model now you can, as you can see I'm putting a little bit more in a couple of places mainly around the rivets and at the head of his axe um, but that's just sort of uh, I'm just sort of trying to make a shadow in those areas more than anything now the same thing with the base just agrax all over everything and at this step this stage I actually went ahead and I painted the base rim black I for me black is the only color for base rims you know sometimes you can make it look thematic but black is the color that I prefer now here um, I decided to go a little weird and I was just kind of making just uh, brush marks on his axe trying to make it look like uh, the axe had gotten a little bit of blood on it from whatever a kill or whatnot but I, it, I ended up eventually just putting a little bit of contrast paint on there and um, some water and then just using my finger to spread that contrast paint out and I, ha I did have some problems on the bottom of the axe but eventually I got it my last step here is I'm stippling on some of that red into a couple of places just to sort of um, break up the uh, the pattern and make it look a little bit different and I am tapping that with my finger to kind of like break up the uh, the the blood itself now as you can see this is what everyone looks like they were all painted with the same contrast paint method and slap chop so anyway, if you like what you've seen, uh, please go ahead and like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next video.